Hey guys, my name is Ruben Nelson. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very strong channel message that came together from Source and the Galactic Federation about why there is so much cognitive dissonance in this return to ascension. And in addition to the fact that all that there is is love and everything else is a gaslight. So first and foremost, something that was shown to me very clearly is the fact that this is in fact all a simulation. We are spiritual beings having a human experience and we do hear that all the time. However, the source that created this simulation may not be a direct source of the integration to one or unconditional love within of itself and so part of the challenge that we've seen up until now between science and spirituality is the fact that science in a lot of ways fails to ask the right question but it is very technologically driven and so part of what was shown to me is how we are very advanced pieces of technological advancements our human bodies can repair themselves, they can grow hair and all of these things. And this is a perfect part of the simulation. However, the simulation was more so uh, made in a way as a back test. Time and space is an illusion and science can explain that if you think of every, everything in terms of energy and frequency, we can understand the universe. However, there is another moving part here at play, which is that if you think about a piece of technological software right or versus hardware so if you think about for example asking a computer or alexa or siri to uh, do something for you even the tesla car for example it has the hardware to uh, to do it for example the car the tesla the new one or the next one can actually stop uh in the middle of a red light or what have you but the software is not fully there yet to meet that even though the hardware has been developed in that same sense the brain for example when someone is in a coma uh could be said to be responsible as to that person being in a coma however it's not the principal source of power and energy meaning that we can explain why someone is in a coma however we cannot explain the inception of that power that powers the brain that therefore powers the body we cannot explain or science cannot explain the inception of that energy and whatever energy powers one of us powers this entire op operating system or this entire simulation and so to understand the mechanics of the brain and the way it uses electricity to power the body does not account for understanding where the energy and the source of that energy comes from that powers us all as we know the brain is not atomic and so something that is atomic powers itself and keeps powering itself and so in that sense the fact that humanity has commingled the creation of this world in tandem with a singular source and science has looked to explain the existence of this world and the mechanics of our body they are inherently looking at two different operating systems from two different lenses that were never supposed to be commingled in the first place they are indeed separate and source used the simulation to show itself to us in our human experience and that's why the ultimate truth is love but everything else also has an explanation because it was created in a lot of ways having this human experience allows us to go back to oneness to the integration of unconditional love being the highest vibrational resonance however integration into oneness is not necessarily a direct correlation of everything that we see in this world and so what is important here to understand is that the intelligence that created this human experience and that created the simulation is not a direct source literally and figuratively of uh love unconditional love or that power that powers that which created this world around us and so that's been a lot of the cause of cognitive dissonance in this world and part of what makes us so unique in this anomaly in this integration is that we can tap into that unconditional love directly uh to source which was more or less an anomaly to the creators of this simulation up until recently i re i did a video a few months ago where this was kind of happening live where the creators of the simulation were speaking to me as in uh, in in understanding that they don't know where a lot of my channel messages were coming from and that was kind of the inception and the first time where i really began to see this and so this was then later reinforced to me by something that I saw Aaron Abke post on his Instagram, which is to 
see himself in another person is heaven. And what clicked when I saw that in that moment and the way that I did was that to see ourselves in another person is to be in line and attuned to the fact that we are a direct correlation and creation of, of source or unconditional love that may not that that has a a standard or or has something in between that connection the direct source to unconditional love and that which may created the worlds around us and by being able to see ourselves in another person is to acknowledge that whatever powers us all comes from the same power so it goes back to no matter what universe or god you believe in whatever powers you powers me powers the the worlds around me which science doesn't quite account for in in their studies and so in understanding that we can tap into that source consciousness through the heart space right and that's where source was able to i guess in a way hijack this back test that could be seen unethical unethical to be conducted in the first place if we know time and space an illusion and this is a back test or simulation for scientific purposes it's safe to say that source would probably not be okay with that and use the ascended masters or the anomalies to uh circuit break that that dynamic that that mechanic and so by tapping into that heart space and seeing that another person is to be able to tap into the fact that love is real and everything else is an illusion and a simulation that whose architect may not be uh, source itself which up until now spirituality has tried to more or less argue especially religion that is in fact not the case there these are two different moving parts and so to see ourselves in another person is to connect to the oneness that connects us all which everything else is a gas like to and from to keep the simulation going just the same way that the brain and the ego had an evolutionary role in getting us to this place because it needed a method and mechanism humans in this paradigm needed a method and mechanism to keep trying to survive for this back test to continue to be able to work we've ascended past that and so we've ascended past the architect of the creation of this paradigm and this matrix and that's what why part of the reason why we're seeing so much uh contrast and so much chaos also unfolding because there is a force that wants to defend this back test for whatever reason and then source is using these anomalies earth angels or what have you the awakened ones to look past that so essentially we we've awakened the fifth density past the fourth density standard deviation or even higher density so at this point we can throw out all of the numbers per se and say that the awakened anomalies or as we are awakening we're awakening to source consciousness and thus bypassing the architects of the simulation which again because we are all one yes source did create the architects of simulation however the intention and the inception of the simulation was in fact not with the intention of returning to one and then source use this experience to show itself through us and that's part of the moving parts we're seeing now so during this time um it is said to me that it has now been mostly understood that the best for all is to now work in congruence and conjunction and so much of the purging now has to do with you know when you talk about shadow and you talk about light or light and darkness it has less to do with the actual action a lot more to do with all the things we do to hide that which is not unconditional love or the intention so this goes back to something i posted about yesterday which how awful is it that we've lived in a world that has told us to find love or to look for love as if it wasn't already within us all of those dynamics and mechanics was created to keep us going in this matrix which now as that is coming to light um, we have that purge of the ego right but so much of the ego has to do with the architects the the architect of this paradigm uh and its influence over us and then transcending into a heart space is to now override that entire density which i guess could be kind of explained as the fourth density um that is now being overridden and and a lot of this paradigm is not being catapulted from the third to the fifth overriding the architects of this entire density so i know there's a very broad aspect and and information but i really 
feel that it will bring us so much closer as a collective uh, now that we understand that truth, the ultimate truth and the only truth is love and everything else is a gaslight, we are ascending past tolerance for gaslighting. And so with that, we are ultimately returning to oneness. And it's why we will see that state of heaven, which was always in our power to acquire, right? So I don't want to take away from that. If you think about heaven and hell or fear and love, Unconditional love and fear cannot coexist. So by nature of that dichotomy, we must surrender one because by the nature of choice, by the simple aspect that they cannot coexist. Therefore, until we surrender to unconditional love or to or succumb to fear, we are living in the state of limbo, which there was truth to that, that this was a place of limbo. So because of these two moving factors, it made the gaslight that much more, it was that much more conducive for a gaslighting egotistical, egotistical paradigm to keep uh, uh, perpetuating but now with the heart space expansion as source becomes stronger or the light becomes uh, anchored even more so through these avatars uh, or through our body avatars it is going to inevitably uh, recalibrate the density of the worlds around us for the greater good of all and how that will continue to evolve appertaining to this density or this matrix is going to be interesting to see it unfold because those there's not just now the free will of man, not that that's new, but we have the moving part of the free will of man, source consciousness, unconditional love, universe, the oneness, and this in, this intelligence that architected so much of the worlds around us. And so it's also why there is so much of the Trinity aspect that there is a uh, source, inner child, higher self, father, son, Holy Spirit, because there is a trifecta here it's not a duality and love is the oneness and is the oneness that powers all and it's why when i saw aaron apke post that um to see uh yourself and another person is to see heaven it is because by de facto to get to that point you are already connected to that unconditional love understanding the contrast and the density uh, and the simulation that is all a falsity which is why everything is vibrating in the matrix is why you see the the numbers the way you do because everything is in fact vibrating just like our phone our eyes have three photoreceptors shrimp have 16 we cannot see gamma rays x-rays and what have you we our retinas or our eyes cannot see the fact that we are indeed vibrating but beneath that vibration is unconditional love and that vibration and this paradigm is uh, not quite created by that same unconditional love not directly anyway so i hope this video was helpful i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time